So what we see here is a common ciliate living among the different strands of cyanobacteria that we see in the reef tank. At this point, we can't tell if this is spirulina or just some other plain version of cyanobacteria. Now, as we get a little closer, you can start to see the differences, but once again, even at this magnification, you're really not able to see the structure of spirulina. It just looks like a strand. Now, at this magnification, we are able to see the spiral structure of spirulina. This is what makes it different than any other cyanobacteria. You can see the tight spirals. Now in this video, I believe we have a strand of spirulina. There's some diatoms there, and we also have a piece of green cyanobacteria. Now notice the difference, you see the different segments in the strand there, the green strand that we see in the video. Very different than the spirals that we see in spirulina. So here's another example. This is more of a red cyanobacteria strand. Once again, notice it has no spirals. So here's a quick test I learned from Reef to Reef on how to identify cyano versus spirulina. Now take two cups of tank water. Take that red mat that you believe is cyano or spirulina and put it in the cup. Take one milliliter of hydrogen peroxide. This would be 3%. You can get normally anywhere. If after a couple of hours, the water turns a pinkish red, you have normal cyano. If the water has no change after a couple of hours, congratulations, you have spirulina. The reason this happens is because hydrogen peroxide has no effect on spirulina, but it will kill normal cyano. Now using the 100 objective for this microscope, you can really see the spirals in spirulina and that's why it gets its name. So what do you do if the test comes out and you have spirulina? Well, so far, the only thing that is known to really kill spirulina is chemiclean. If you have regular cyanobacteria, you can kill it with hydrogen peroxide, but the only thing that affects spirulina is chemiclean. So that's it on this video of spirulina. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've ever had to deal with this menace in your reef tank. And as always, happy reefing YouTube.